So uh, I'm still in India and uh, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, but um, she's a bit of a cow. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> what do we have here? I'm just walking along the road and up there, sitting, is a monkey. Eating a bit of cabbage, I think. So it's uh, amazing what you see. He's just about a metre away from me. And just to prove that I am really with the monkey, see if I can get me in there as well. There you go, hold on. There you go. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Just a wave. So uh, as you can see it's uh, quite a different terrain here. This is Mount Abu, India and uh, this area is uh, at the top of a range of mountains uh, in a plateau and there's a nice big lake here and uh, it's a really nice place to come and just chill out, do a bit of meditating. So be careful these steps here, check this out. Everywhere you walk, there's another friend. Little one. Hello, mate. Meh! 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 Nah, he doesn't speak English. Here we go, this is interesting. This is uh, the back entrance to the university that I'm staying in. This is called Pandav Bhavan. And there's like a little uh, temple over here. And you've got some villagers, more animals, etc. And over here, there we go, that's it there, that's the back of Pandav Bhavan. And that's part of the uh, Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual University campus, which is where I'm studying. And they've got some solar panels up there, that's just to heat the water. And there's uh, quite a lot of cooking done on solar power as well. Uh, this is the courtyard of Pandav Bhavan. And you can see all the flags and decorations. That's uh, to celebrate a festival called Shiv Jenti. And that means Shiv is Shiva, incorporeal supreme soul. And Jenti means birthday. So it's the birthday of the incorporeal supreme soul. To celebrate that, in fact to prepare for that, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just having a little look around the four places that are very holy and very yogi to get myself ready for a meeting that's going to take place later on. So come this way. This one. This is Baba's hut, Brahma Baba's hut. It's a very, very special place. It's a beautiful vibration. And it's a place of silence, so I won't be speaking anymore. Nice gardens around it as well. Relax, 20 minutes of meditation in that room. I'm feeling really nicely spaced out. And I know what you're thinking, who is the guru guy in the picture? Well, he's not a guru, that's actually Brahma Baba, and he is the instrument that the Supreme Soul used to share spiritual knowledge with humanity. So this all happened in 1937, and on the basis of that information, the Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual University was opened up and continues to run today. So, just giving you a little bit of an insight as to uh, this very special day and um, next we're heading off to a really nice, one of my favourite places to meditate in the world and it's called Baba's Room. And the word Baba actually means father, so don't get freaked out about that. So we're just going to have a little walk over there now, check it out, right, come on. Yeah, I'm just going back into the courtyard now. I'm trying to keep my voice down because everyone's really, really calm and quiet and peaceful today. And it's a day when a lot of people just go into silence and just uh, reflect on many things. Okay, here we go. This is Papa's room. Wow, 
us 20 more minutes. So I'm up to 40 minutes meditation now and I'm really getting into the zone. Just having a little walk across the courtyard to the next spot for another 20 minutes. The thing about meditation is that it works on lots of levels. One level is that you just become peaceful and relaxed. But then as you go deeper into it, you start to actually realise that you are the spiritual being that's on a human experience for a short period of time. I know it sounds weird, but when you try it, you try meditating, that's the experience, that's the one that I got. So next we're going through to the Tower of Peace. This is amazing, have a look at this place. Nice, huh? And this is a memorial. This is this is where the ashes of Brahma Baba were placed, and this canopy was built around it. And it's an amazing vibration here. And it's a place where a lot of yoga, a lot of meditation takes place. Right, I'm going to find a good spot and sit down somewhere probably. Not too much in the sunshine. And I'm going to get another 20 minutes in, which will take me up to an hour. I'm going to continue now on the journey, the meditation journey, the experience. I'm going to go into a place called the History Hall. And here we go, we're going to go inside. I might have to be quiet in here, so let's, uh, let's see what happens. And this is the size of the hall here. And these are some of the very first original pictures that were created after some very lucky souls went into trance and experienced spiritual knowledge. This is the tree of humanity. And this one is called the Trimurti. And this one is the world cycle and that swastika is not like the Nazi one it's the other way around this is the correct way around and it represents the cycle of time time being cyclic and now we're reaching the conclusion of one complete cycle which is a very interesting time so when the cycle of time completes the end of the old world finishes and the beginning of the new world starts like a place of heaven or garden of Eden that sort of thing. So this is the history hall and I'm going to do another 20 minutes meditation in here just to finish off which will take me up to 80 minutes meditation and feeling nice and calm and really it's just a preparation for this afternoon. Amazing. 20 more minutes meditation. I'm totally chilled out now and ready for this afternoon's meeting. So I'm just going to have a little walk across the courtyard. And of course, no morning's work or pilgrimage would be complete without a bit of food. So I'm just heading off to the dining hall. This is the main dining hall for the Westerners. It's like that because it's not so spicy, the food in here. There you go, grab myself a plate. Hello, one of them. Here we go, we've got rice and something else, rice and dal, sabzi and chapatis and yogurt. Fantastic. So uh, as you can see, cows everywhere, and uh, that's it now for Andev Baron. And uh, more to come later. Nice one. <laughs> okay, we're we're in the taxi, and we're going down to Shantivan to meet God. To meet God. To meet God. Can it be true? Yeah, yeah it's really true. <laughs> it's definitely true. And there's eight eight brothers plus the driver. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. 
I said last year, this is the journey down to uh, the bottom of the mountain. And uh, we're all going to go for a big spiritual meeting. And uh, we're all going to make sure. Entrance to the Shanty Van complex. So, this is it. This is Shanty Van, which is a huge campus area which can accommodate something like 25,000 people. And this is the big hall that holds that amount of people. And inside, Inside will be a very, very special event, a special meeting that only play, takes place a few times a year. And it's, uh, it's a time when the Supreme Soul leaves his home and comes down into a medium in order to give spiritual knowledge. It's absolutely amazing. So, this is why I came to India to uh, attend a meeting in the hall behind me, which is called Diamond Hall. And it's a meeting for about 20,000 souls, and it's a chance for them to meet the Supreme Soul. Now, the Supreme Soul doesn't have a body, so he comes down from his home, the soul world, and enters into a medium, a human body, in order to share some very, very beautiful spiritual knowledge. And part of that knowledge will be consider yourself to be a soul and remember the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. And the reason why is because at this time, it's time for souls to go home. So if you'd excuse me, I'm going to go and find my seat and take my place. Okay, we're going into the hall now. And we're in. There it is, Diamond Hall, the inside. There's a class started already. And later on will be the main event. Yes. 